I want to give a shout out to our new sponsor here on the channel, Prize Picks. If you want to add some excitement to this football season, Prize Picks is the best way to do it. I've been crushing it already this year. It's super easy. You just pick two or more players, choose if they'll go for more or less on their projected stats, and boom, place your entry. It's super simple and fast. Lock in your picks in less than 60 seconds. And to play, I have just the deal for you guys. When you sign up with Prize Picks, use code DOUBLEMOVE, you'll get a guaranteed $50 when you play just five dollars in lineups plus get the special caleb williams promo running right now if he throws for just half a yard you're good to go so go to prizepicks.com or download the app and use my code double move to claim your 50 dollars. thank you to prize picks for sponsoring the channel now let's get into the video When a team hires a new offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator, head coach, whatever, there's always a chance for growing pains. When the Chiefs hired Steve Spagnolo back in 2019, that unit took a while to be good. Heck, they take a month or two at the beginning of each season to really get on track and become one of the best units in football. So I understand that a new scheme, a new coach, a new coordinator, anything like that can be tricky. But Mike Zimmer's short time in Dallas has been far more than just growing pains. It has been downright painful to watch. See what I did there? They straight up dominated the Browns in week one, and now with hindsight on that game, the Browns just stink all around. Their tackles aren't good, their quarterback isn't good, their wide receivers outside of Amari aren't good. They just gave up eight sacks to the Giants and lost the game where they were trailing 21-7 to at one point. That Cleveland offense isn't good, plain and simple. Then in weeks two and three, you see how the Dallas defense has looked against any competent offense. And it makes how I feel about this unit even worse. They beat up on a bad team, and then they got beat up by any slightly good team. On Sunday against the Ravens, the Cowboys had a rushing yards margin of negative 223. Dallas had 51 yards on the ground. Baltimore had 274. Shout out to RJ Ochoa on X for finding that out. If you want my unfiltered comments on the game as they happen, go over to X, Twitter, whatever you want to call it, and give me a follow at Zach Lee NFL on on X is the handle. It'll be linked down below in the comments. So for the Cowboys, the run defense and run offense have been equally bad so far this year. For reference, that rushing margin was the third worst performance in Dallas Cowboys franchise history. The two other times were in 2000 and 1984. So you find a run game and a run defense that bad combined every 15 to 25 years for the Cowboys. So I'm sure I'll be sitting here talking to you guys in like 2056 about another game just like this one. As bad as the ground game has been on offense, let's talk about what Mike Zimmer has done as the defensive coordinator. Per ESPN Research and Joe Hoy on Twitter, we know that the Cowboys have allowed 557 rushing yards, the most through three games since 1963. They have allowed 5.4 yards per carry, the worst average through three games since 1979. They have given up eight rushing touchdowns, the most in franchise history through three games. So, I guess you could say that this defense is historical. Not historically good, but still historical. And I don't have to explain to you guys how bad this really is. Rico Dowdle, Ezekiel Elliott, and Deuce Vaughn have combined for 167 yards on the entire season, and that's just 16 more yards than what Derrick Henry had in Sunday's game. So for the Cowboys' run game on offense, I'm actually not as worried about that as I am the defensive side of the ball. Cowboys offense has two rookie starters on their offensive line. They don't really have a running back that they trust that they'll use more than five or six times per game. I see ways to fix that unit. But on defense and them stopping the run, the real question comes down to how do you fix it because I don't know. Is this a Mike Zimmer problem? Should his job be on the line? Or is this a personnel problem? I mean, where do you even start with this unit? Because there's no way to just fix it immediately. I guess you can talk about firing Mike Zimmer, making Al Harris the defensive coordinator and moving from there. Or you can try to go out, get a defensive tackle, and try to find a guy that can actually play NFL football. This defense's problem is a lot more than just Mike Zimmer 
armor and a lot more than just personnel. It's a combination of the two, but you can choose which one you want to blame more for all of their shortcomings. If you hate Jerry Jones in the front office, you'd say that it's a personnel issue. They need a defensive tackle, they needed a corner, they needed another linebacker, and they didn't go out and do it. If you hate Mike Zimmer and love the roster, you'd probably say fire Mike Zimmer. But I think it's tricky because I'm not sure who you blame more. Dallas doesn't have a legitimate defensive tackle on the roster. Not one. Not one of those guys has played like an NFL player this season. The front office went bargain bin shopping for defensive tackles about four months too late into free agency. And that's a big issue. And they can ignore the position all that they want. They can ignore that they likely missed on Mozzie Smith. They can continue to watch this team give up 200 yards on the ground every game. And if they do, it's only going to get worse. Now, as for the Cowboys run scheme, last year, Dallas had their issues on run defense. San Fran and Buffalo ran all over them, but they also had no linebackers. They had a safety playing linebacker in Marquise Bell, but now in 2024, they have real bodies at the position and they haven't helped in the slightest. It's actually gotten worse. Even then, not having a serious defensive tackle. It's not like you lost an all pro at DT and that explains your run game mishaps. How do the Cowboys get that much worse? They lost a 30 plus year old corner in Stefan Gilmore. Dorrance Armstrong was a backup defensive end. Jonathan Hankins was solid, but not anything great. If anything, at the start of the season, I thought the Cowboys would move laterally. They didn't make any moves to get better, but I also thought they lost a couple of role players. I thought they'd probably still suck at stopping the run, but I didn't see them getting gashed for 190 in week two, 274 in week three, and be on a historical pace to suck. I don't know. It just seems far-fetched that there's nothing about the scheme that stinks and it's just the personnel. It's just what the Cowboys did in the offseason because how is this unit historically bad. I get that there's games where a defense is going to give up yards. They're going to suck at stopping the run at certain points. They're going to give up big plays. But the fact that it's this bad to where we're talking about throwing the season away in week three and starting a rebuild, that's bad, bad. Even Dan Quinn's defenses showed some sign of life stopping the run at times. They weren't great, they had their games where they got gashed, but so far, Zimmer hasn't had but half a quarter of life against a good offense, and maybe that's where you start. The Cowboys love to think that they make all of the right decisions, especially in the draft, so you could fire Mike Zimmer. There's a few things that we can say with this team. They don't have a legitimate defensive tackle, linebacker play has actually been worse, they didn't improve their cornerback room at all, and their scheme might have got significantly worse. But I wanted to ask you guys, I wanted to talk about it, what is the the one move to fixing this unit. Not completely fixing it, but getting started on fixing it. Should firing Mike Zimmer be the start, or should the Cowboys try to make a trade for a defensive tackle? Which one of those moves would be the biggest step towards figuring out this defense? I'm literally getting shades of Mike Nolan in 2020 and how bad that unit was. And then you had a coordinator like Dan Quinn come in in 2021 and they were significantly better. Comment your thoughts down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. More Cowboys content coming later this week. I love you all and I'll see you next time. Bye.